Hi, my name is Eugenia and I'm a math tutor. Today we're going to talk about what the sine of the cotangent is in each quadrant. You will probably remember that we have four quadrants in two-dimensional space and we number them counterclockwise starting with the top right one. So we have one, two, three, and four. Now we know that the cotangent of an angle, theta, is equal to the cosine of that angle over the sine of that angle. We can't tell what the sine of the cotangent is, whether it's positive or negative, just by looking at this graph, but we can tell whether the sine and cosine are positive or negative. So we'll use those to figure out the cotangent. So here's our unit circle, and if we have our angle in the first quadrant, then we know that both the x-coordinate and the y-coordinate is positive. This means that both the cosine and the sine are both positive for this quadrant. If our angle is in the second quadrant, then we know that our y-coordinate will still be positive, but the x-coordinate will now be negative. So that will give us cosine negative and sine positive. Now let's look at the third quadrant. Here, both coordinates are negative, so both cosine and sine are negative. Lastly, we have the fourth quadrant, where the x-coordinate is positive, but the y-coordinate is negative. So here, cosine is positive, and sine is negative. Now that we've got this graph all figured out, let's use these signs to find the sine of the cotangent in each quadrant. In the first quadrant, we found that both cosine and sine are positive. Since cotangent is equal to the cosine over the sine, we have a positive number divided by a positive number, which is always positive. So we know that the cotangent is going to be positive in the first quadrant. In the second quadrant, we again have cosine divided by sine, so we have a negative number divided by a positive number, which is always going to be a negative number. In the second quadrant, the cotangent is always negative. In the third quadrant, we have a negative number divided by a negative, which always gives us a positive. So here, the cotangent is always positive. And lastly, in the fourth quadrant, we have a positive over a negative, which gives us a negative. So we have a positive sign for cotangent in the first and third quadrants, and a negative sign for cotangent in the second and fourth quadrants. And that's how we find the sign of the cotangent. Thanks for watching.